Ladies and gents at home, are you ready to juice? somebody with the juicer it's a lot cheaper second thing you need some friggin fruit and vegetables this is juicing the right way 101 the mad fit way I have my esteemed colleague mr. Craig Kahn good friend of mine um, today we're gonna be juicing I'm gonna see if it's uh, worth all the hype You're supposed to get all the nutrients out of the food without the roughage. Um, it goes straight into your, blood, into your bloodstream rather than having to sit in your tummy for a little while, breaking her down. So you just get the straight juice. Um, the Gerson theory, Gerson diet, I believe heavily in this. Go check it out. Google it. The Gerson diet. The Beautiful Truth. Great documentary. This is uh, all pertaining to the same thing. So, this is the first time I've ever done it. First time Craig's ever done it. Let's go. Yeah. I might be doing this wrong. You know, you're supposed to go away from it like this. Like this. I think I now have tinnitus. With this juicer, this is just one juicer. Um, some people prefer using every bit of the fruit, core and all, or zest and all. Um, that can be your preference. Matt, are most of the nutrients, or a lot of the nutrients found in the skin? This is very true. A lot of the vitamins and the nutrients um, will definitely get in your bloodstream a lot quicker if you use these skins. If you have a psychotic partner that you may be doing your juicing with, please make sure you stand clear of the cutting board. Time. So, what do you want to do? You want to make an apple juice first, or do you want to mix it together? I want to mix it together. Let's okay. Do, let's do apples, bananas, kale, and a little bit of lime. A little bit of lime. Okay, so I just learned something. Don't put a bunch of fruit in there until it's stirring, because I just put a bunch of fruit in there and it's locked up. Okay. Here, you're good. <laughs> this is only one apple. So... <laughs> This is an apple, orange, lime, kale, and what else? I think that's it. That Look at that. That's looks good. Yeah, it does. Here, hold on to this. That is red. And it smells good. Yeah, it really does. It smells like health. It smells like health. I it like does. that. I like that. You want me to do the honors? Yeah, go ahead. Dude. <laughs> it's, it's super good, right? I want more kale in it. I okay. want to taste more of that. All right. So, as we're swapping spit in this glass, <laughs> any questions, comments, you know, concerns? This is the first time I've ever done it. This is the f first bit that I've worked with it. So, uh, give me comments. Leave uh, room for improvement for me. Or uh, if you have any questions. There's another documentary called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. A man goes on a 90-day, uh, I think it was 90-day binge of nothing but fresh fruits and vegetables, and he juiced for that long, and um, he lost 110 pounds, I believe, and uh, just looks, feels much healthier. Uh, Craig is a uh, avid cyclist. Yeah, I'll let you know how this helps out. People said they found differences in their skin. Oh, thanks for the muscle there. People said they found... Bad fit. <laughs> I'm shaking, but you can't see it in the video. People have said that they found differences in their skin, and their energy, and their overall digestive... Pretty rad, right? Kale. It tastes it like that. Right. <laughs> it's really good. Let's drink it. It's like grazing, but with good. It's so weird that it's so good. Yeah, turn it back on. Oh, it really is. So what's in here? That's kale, strawberries, 
kiwi, and oranges. It's good. I drink it, but... I think it's great. The first batch was better. Yeah, a lot of people say it tastes just like grass. I think it tastes really good, but yes, it is preference. For any of you that have ever drank a shot of wheatgrass, it tastes very, very similar. I have not had a shot of wheatgrass before. It's good. I, I'm interested to see how much juice is going to come out of a banana. Not a Pretty much nothing. Yep. Alright, anyway. In the back here is all of the uh, pulp and all of the stuff that you got to break down. It goes in the back so you get straight juice. Oh, no. It's coming down here for a little seepage. We're leaking up the side. Son of a... Should we just clean it all up? Maybe. Yeah, it might be a cleaning time, folks. I'm going to unplug it before I saw my hand off. Chip in if you're, if you're thinking something. If you've used it. We recommend that you clean your juicer as soon as you can after each use. If you wait too long, the fibers from the fruits and vegetables you juiced will dry and harden, making them difficult to remove. Using YouTube Before on YouTube started, to figure out today, we'll YouTube situations. And turn the crescent tool counterclockwise to unlock the blade. Remove it. Yeah. There we go! You gonna be alright there? You want a cutting board like most people would do? That would make way too much sense. Right. Next, uh... R rule of advice, go slow whenever you're That's forcing it down. It's coming outside. Oh, wow. Wow. It's going to be a lot of juice in there. Yeah, oh. This is... Wait, 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 wait. What juice is this? This is bananas, kiwis, apples. Did we put orange in it? Yep. And orange. <laughs> That's good. After trying the different flavors and the taste and all that stuff, I like it. It's something I'd do again. Yeah. I can't speak to how well it makes you feel yet, but I can't imagine it will make you feel bad because there's nothing but goodness in there, right? My friend George said that if you can't bite into it, if you wouldn't eat it by biting into it or something like that, don't put it in there that way. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not recognize his face, it's because he is the man that threw me off the jet ski that had me out for a month. And it was 100% his fault. I don't think we're supposed to have this many nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's way too many nutrients at one time. Hello? Greg, what's up, man? Hey, not much. Okay, so uh, this, I want to give you a follow-up as far as that gym goes with my energy and cycling and everything. Huge differences. Overall energy levels, I feel it. And if I skip a day for some stupid reason, I totally feel it. Um, I rode my bicycle today, actually, and uh, it was actually while I was riding. I was thinking, you know, I'm not near as fatigued after, you know, like after like the hard part of the ride. And then even after the ride, I would always go home. Take a nap, but today didn't happen. I was up and rolling, and um, I don't know if it maybe it was just a good day, but I'm gonna chalk it up to juice, and I think it, I think it helps a lot. What about does it give you like a does it give you like a Red Bull energy or what? Um, no, not Red Bull energy. For me, it's uh more just like it's like you've had a good night's sleep and you feel right. Rad. Yeah, because you know Red Bull sometimes you talk. But, uh, anyway, that's what I got for it. I like it. Right on, man. Appreciate it. Alright, later. Alright, so, Matt. Very handsome young man. But you know what? Not all of us are meant to look like Matt. Don't ever compare yourself to somebody else. Compare yourself to you and be the best version of you that you could possibly be. And you know what? You may look at somebody else and say that person is absolutely beautiful. When you're the best version of yourself that is possible, it will come across as as beautiful a person as ever could be. That's what I got. Be you and be beautiful.
didn't even ask you if you wanted to be on YouTube. Do you want to be on YouTube? Yeah, I'm good. Is that good? Like, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm so fine. Okay. I didn't have full intentions of asking. 